All right, the NFL Network and Deion Sanders split ways. He had been with the network since 2006. So let's talk about it. The subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate everybody for tapping in with your boy. Check out our NFL Talk Plus for more NFL uh, news. So, um, Deion went his own way. Uh, obviously, his contract was up. Excuse me. And um, he opted to leave. So, I guess it was, I don't know if the numbers wasn't right or he got another deal on the floor or he's going to do his own thing. But the NFL Network has been plummeting for a while now. I have not been watching it like I used to watch it in the previous years. It's terrible. The morning show is terrible. The whole network is terrible. It got to the point where I didn't even know the top 100 was coming on the last two years, and that's sad. NFL Network was really, really good. It had some good analysts on there at one point, and now they gentrified it. They try to make it a family, casual show, and that's what happens when you shoot for ratings. You know, you're going to lose a lot of your hardcore fan uh, fans, and Peter Schrager and the other guy they got on there, man, they just so feminine, man. Football is supposed to be masculine. It's supposed to be a lot of testosterone. It's supposed to be a man thing. And it's cool with the females working on there. Obviously, you always need the eye candy. You don't want all them hard legs always around. So, you know, obviously, Dion is going to probably go do something else or maybe focus on his family life. Um, you know, he might start his own podcast. Who knows? He might have a deal on the floor with ESPN. I heard it. they had uh, named Louis Riddick on the ESPN Monday Night Crew and somebody else as well. So, I mean, we're going to see what's in, in store for Dion Sanders. But... That's the one time I actually did watch the NFL Network after watching like Red Zone or a game. It was when Deion Sanders was on. They had Shannon Sharp on there every now and again, and they had really good chemistry. Um, when he do prime time play of the game or player of the week, whatever it was, that's a great thing. That, uh, that's the best thing they had going on. Other than that, just wasn't feeling the network at all. Deion was their shining star. Deion knew it. They probably didn't want to reach Deion Sanders' number. And Deion was basically like, you know what, I'll walk, you know. So let's see if ESPN, Fox, you know, or he do his own thing, all right? But the NFL Network, they need to, like, reevaluate what they're doing over there because it's not a good product. You know what I'm saying? I, I just used to love watching football, even the Combine, not this year, but last year. I didn't watch it like I used to watch it, and I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just look at Rich Eisen still cool, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Deion and Rich Eisen, they shining stars over there. Other than that, just ain't a lot of good anal anal analytical things going over there, man, or a lot of good analysts. So I think they need to reevaluate what they're doing over there. But Dion was the guy. He was a shining star, him and Rich Eisen, in my opinion. And now it's just, it ain't even it ain't even manly no more, bro. It's like they're trying to attract, like, casual fans and females to come watch the show. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you think about Deion Sanders moving on up. We're moving on out from the NFL Network. Do you watch it? Do you feel the same thing that I'm seeing? Has it gone down the last few years? Um, or am I tripping? But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check out our NFL Talk playlist. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, quality response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app, pack the in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. One time for the one time.